That's insane! What do you think is gonna happen? That I'm gonna go enslave my friends for a bunch of aliens I've never met? And I don't care if I live a fucking million years. This is my home, and I won't let you destroy it. Oh, okay. How about this? Because when I need a job done, I get someone with a job to do that job! There's no way in hell I don't make this video, but okay, uh, in case you're living under a rock or just don't care about a blue rat who runs really fast, Sega just released another Sonic Central, which is a big deal since, I mean, for most of the year, we haven't really been getting any Sonic news. Like, all we've really been getting is just, like, random teasers. I mean, but it hasn't been the worst year for Sonic news. We did have that whole pre-Frontiers era. You know, Sonic news was drier than the Sahara Desert. Or, uh, you could say, a dusty desert. <laughs> uh, but there was some really crazy and, like, just awesome friggin' announcements in the Sonic Central. Is that I I Shadow? Let's just get right to the intro because I'm trying to get into this. Let's go. Okay, before I start this, I am just gonna say this once. I'm not talking about mobile stuff, merchandise, or anything that doesn't have to do with actual games. I don't wanna have to make this video three hours long with all of the bull crap that they kept putting in there. I'm just gonna talk about what I was watching the Sonic Central for, which was the Sonic Movie 3 news, the Sonic X Shadow Generation news, and the Sonic and DC collab. Since those three were the most important announcements in the Sonic Central, I'm gonna split the video up into three sections consisting of each of the three announcements and all the news that we got about them. Starting off with the one that got the least amount of news, the DC and Sonic collab. Now, even though we didn't get a lot of news about it, it doesn't mean we didn't get important news about it. We know that it's gonna be a comic book series collab with DC superheroes and Sonic the Hedgehog. The series is gonna come out sometime in 2025, like early 2025, and it's gonna keep going until 2026 which is crazy because that means we're gonna get almost two years worth of Sonic and DC collab and honestly me being the giant DC fan that I am this is like awesome considering I love DC and Sonic that Hedgehog so much and like Batman is literally my favorite character and I mean like this is like such a merchandising gold mine right here just because people love Sonic people love DC and I don't think anybody's gonna hesitate to buy anything that they see that is a collab between them. And the character collabs that they made for it are just so perfect. We have Shadow as Batman, which we saw on the Batman Day video. We have Sonic as Flash, which makes total sense, honestly. Say guys, swear to God, if it's not Wally West. Amy as Wonder Woman, which kind of is like the only one that doesn't make sense. I guess they're both girls. That's it. My goat Knuckles as Super Goat. That's a lot of red, I'm not gonna lie to you. We have my other goat, Silver, as Green Trash Can. And Tails as the best teen titan, Cyborg. I love these so much, dude. Like, they, they just make me so happy. I honestly can't wait to see the whole series whenever it comes out and just see all the other character collabs that they're gonna have you know while we're here i do kind of have a list of characters that i would like to see collab between sonic and dc let me uh let, let, let me get it real quick okay i'm just gonna speed blitz this rouge the bat as black canary e123 omega as red tornado kitsunami as aquaman surge the tenric as either impulse kid flash or reverse flash to call as vixen now i know they're not gonna do this but i feel like amy would have been way better versus Zatanna. blaze as catwoman just because they're both cats and big the cat as robin just because that would be so funny to see i'm so excited to see what comes out of this collab and i hope sega takes my uh questionable character pairings as reference for later in the series I know they're not going to do that. But yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to say about the DC and Sonic collab, and that's kind of all the information we have right now. Moving on, Sonic X Shadow. Pause! Generations. Okay, so we've kind of known about this game since literally Sonic Colors Ultimate was revealed, and that was back in like 2021, oh! so... The fact that it's taken us this long to get any sort of news about this game is kind of crazy. But hey, it doesn't matter. The game is releasing next month anyways, so there's nothing to complain about. God knows I can't complain. Sega already has my money. Now, at this point, we've already seen all the DLC for the game, like the Adventure 1 skin, the Terrio skin, and the low-poly Sonic Jam skin. But I don't know if I was the only one who didn't know this, 
but when I saw that the Gerald's journal was an actual physical thing, I was like actually confused. And honestly, that just makes me more hyped for the game because if they're gonna go this far for marketing, then a dedication alone has me sold. We didn't really get that much more for Sonic X Shadow Generations aside from the animated short showing all of Team Dark, which okay, Sega, you're acknowledging that Team Dark exists. And from what I saw, it looks like this is gonna take place after the events of Sonic Adventure 2, not before. So, it, it, to me, it looked like they were all heading on to the abandoned space colony arc. But I don't know, we're just gonna have to wait and find out. They also showed off more footage of the boss fights, and um, this is where we're gonna get into something a little important. Freaking Mephilus is a boss fight! Dude, I don't think anybody understands how freaking important this is. Not just to Sonic Generations, but the entire series as a whole. And what I'm about to say isn't because I'm D1 Sonic 06, but it's because Sega hates Sonic 06 and tries to erase it with every chance that they have. Sega acknowledging that Sonic 06 actually exists in the timeline means that it wasn't fully retconned. And I know that in base generations and in shadow generations, they have Crisis City and Kingdom Valley, and those are levels, so we already knew that it wasn't fully retconned. But having the actual main villain of the game show up as a boss fight just proves it even more, and like, there's no denying it at this point. Dude, this is so awesome, and I can't wait to see what Sega is cooking with this game. Finally, my boy Memphis, Tennessee is getting recognized. Honestly, that might be the second most important thing, if not the most important game that came from this new trailer. Now, so what I think the most important thing is from this trailer, is towards the end of the trailer, they show that Maria and Gerald are still alive in the white space. So this game is definitely going to be about the lore of Shadow, and we're going to get way more about his backstory. But honestly, I think that's the two most important things I wanted to talk about when it came to Sonic X Shadow Generations. So now it's time for me to talk about the thing that literally got nothing in the Sonic Central, Sonic Movie 3. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm hype. Like, I'm really hyped for this movie. You guys can't understand how long I've been waiting for this to come out. But I really, really hope that they put Amy in this movie because this is the movie where she's like has to be there because of the arc that Shadow has and how important Amy is to that. She is literally the person who turns Shadow good at the end of Sonic Adventure 2. So they need her in the movie so she can do that. I don't want them to use any other character because that's just not right. And they are like basically trying to drown out Amy from the movie franchise and I don't like that at all. But the trailers that have come out uh, look really good. I love how Keanu Reeves sounds as Shadow. And it looks like Sonic's gonna be a little bit more serious in this movie, which I've been waiting for. It. I kind of hate how dumb Sonic is in these movies and how childish he is, because he's not really super childish in the games. Um, I'm okay with Sonic not being a flat character just because he needs to have more emotions. It's a movie franchise. He can't just, like, be Goku. But I definitely need to see more of that cocky attitude and, like, I can literally beat anybody mentality that Sonic has in this movie because he has been lacking that in the past, too. Yeah, but honestly, there's not really a lot to talk about when it comes to the movie stuff, honestly. So I think I'm just going to end that there. I can't wait for it to come out. I know it's going to be an awesome movie. I know it's going to sell like hotcakes because, I mean, let's be real. The Minecraft movie is going to suck. And that Borderlands movie was absolutely atrocious. So the Sonic movie 3 is definitely going to be the movie to save the Hollywood uh, video game adaptations right now. Yeah, but I think that's about it for this one. Uh, I think I'm just going to end it off there. Uh, like if you like the video, dislike if you dislike the video, I don't really care. Comment something that like, I don't know, pissed you off or something that you liked about the video. I'll take constructive criticism and compliments, I don't care. Thanks for listening to this nobody on the internet talk about Sonic characters again. Uh, you know, have a great day, and that's kind of it. Deuces. Baby, bend it off. Touch your toes, know you sexy, baby. Uh, strike a pose, she a city, baby. She wear expensive clothes. Oh, you wanna get with me, baby? You can hear my phone. I got a bad hoe. She say you know she let it get cash though. Uh, baby, come and get it with me, we can make it fast though. Yeah, sure you know I get it wet, I make it a splash though. Got another bad hoe. Yeah, I don't be touching her back, she call me an asshole. Uh, but she had a fuck, she like Joey, put it in my. Wait, okay, she wanna fuck to my music, I hear like an AOA on me.